What is going on, guys? I'm Bobby. And I am Brent. And you're watching... Learning with Bobby and Brent. <laughs> hey, guys. We're, we don't even have to do a on today's episode of Learning because we're not doing a video tutorial. Yeah, hey, guys. We're going to let you in on a little secret today. Yeah, come here. Come a little closer. Come a little closer. Come a little closer. A little bit like zoom in on a mouse here, right? Yeah. Even closer. Even closer. We're not using video editing softwares today, Sansa. <gasps> uh, That's right, guys. Today I'm learning we're going to be using Illustrator. What? Yes, we're going to shift away from our video editing today and we're going to be doing some graphical stuff. Yeah, because a big part of the videos that we edit on now, you know, involve graphics. Woo! And this yes, is a tool true. that we use constantly. And why haven't we told you how to use it? That's a good question, Brent. I don't even know. Today we're going to be doing gradiency. Gradiency. Oh, okay. I mean, that's super easy, right? And like Photoshop and stuff, it's just like a tool. It's boop, gradiency. Well, you'd think it'd be easy, but guess what? what? In Illustrator, yes. it's actually a little bit more difficult than you okay. think, especially when it comes to putting a gradiency on text. Okay. Weird. So we're going to show you two different things today. Gradiency with text and gradiency with shapes. All right, cool. So let's get right into it. Let's just do it. All right? No, All right, guys. no time wasting. Let's get right to it. This feels really weird. We gotta send Bobby to Florida, you know? He's gotta go down I'm going there. on vacation. He's going to Florida to do get some Get me the heck out of here. He needs to get out. Um, we're, we, we're actually kind of exiling him. He's got the grayscale like Jorah. We're sending him down to the, the Citadel to f see if he can find a cure. And um, oh, it turns out the Citadel is in Florida. Man. Who knew it? Yeah, who, who knew? knew? I wouldn't have guessed Florida. Well, you know, that's where all the old people go. That is so. true. That's where all the old maesters go to learn about yes. different things in Westeros. So we're sending Bobby to Florida. So here we go. To fix that grayscale of his. To Florida I go. To Florida he goes. He's not allowed to come back until he's found a cure. All right, guys. This feels so weird because we don't have a premiere up. So it like, feels weird. But It feels very just, weird. I guess we should just get right let's into it. Let's just do it. All right. What do you want to start with? Text right. or shapes? So let's start with shapes. Okay. So on the right here. Uh, you can see that we have plenty of tabs. All right. Now, if your workspace is different than ours, you can go into Window, Workspace, and select Essentials, which is what we have it on. Okay. So we're going to select on our little color swatches thing right here. And I like to see that the entirety of while I'm working. So I'm going to drag it up there. So now our swatches is nice and placed in the right over here. Cool. The other thing we're going to need is the gradients tool. So we need to open up our gradient tool over here on the right. So the first thing that we have to do is go up to our windows tab, scroll down to gradient right here, and it pops up oh, this okay. little window. There it is. So you can see, what is this? It's like a nice little gradient, uh, you know, bubble that right. helps you select your gradiency. Cool. So we're going to drag this right here. Oh, so yeah, there you go. We're going to place it sort of underneath our swatches. Seems like a good spot for it. It is a great spot for it. So now we're going to start by doing a shape. So we're just going to do a very simple rectangle. So Brent, if you go over to the left here and select the rectangle tool, you can create a square or a rectangle depending on whatever you want to do. Cool. And nice. at the moment, it is just a empty white rectangle with a black outline. And we're going to want to make a gradient rectangle. Cool. So we're going to remove our black outline by clicking over here to our stroke and hitting none. And now we just have the square. To create a gradient, the first thing that we can do is go down to our gradient tool here okay. and just select the gradient. Oh, yeah. There button. you go. It's already got a gradient on there. Now, the problem is when you go to change the color, look at that. That only gives you black and white. Well, that's dumb. That is dumb. Why would you want just black and white? That's stupid. That is the stupidest thing I've ever heard in my life. And it, I've been around for a while. Yeah, Brent's used Photoshop. He knows as well as I do that this is just really dumb. This is ridiculous. So we can actually... Who do I have to talk to about this? Well, you can talk to me because okay. I can show you oh, okay, okay. how to Ooh. fix it. All right, good. So if you go into your presets here, you All can right. see that there are a few different preset gradient options. Sure. You've got orange yellow, which creates about one, two, three, four, five different colors. You've got fading sky, which uses some opacity, which we'll get into in a little bit. And you've got this radial gradiency. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna start with black and white. And the first thing that we can do to change the colors and make it 
more colorful, is you can actually go up to your swatches panel up here and you can select whatever color you please and just drop it right onto the slider. Oh, interesting. Which is kind of cool. And it then is you can cool, move these but around. I could definitely tell you I would not think to do that. You wouldn't think to do that. That's yeah. something you kind of got to figure out on your own. Okay. Now, you're probably asking, whoa, but how do we like, you know, adjust it? How do we make it so the gradient goes where we want it to go? Okay. So there's this thing called the gradient tool and the shortcut for it is G. So if we select G on our keyboard, you can see this little thingy comes okay, up. Okay, we here. got a little like a line or something going on there. Yeah, like what is going on? So this thing is basically a quick, easy control panel for you to easily control the gradient. Oh, okay, on yeah, the we'll screen. get some sliders in there that could pop up. So you basically have these sliders. You can move them around. You can select, you know, different options of how quickly you want it to uh, move from one color to the other. And the coolest part about this function is that you can click and drag to oh, you can change the direction. Change that, the direction of the gradient. Cool. C. Now I'm going to show you how to do a radial type. So. If you go into the gradient tool again over here on the right, there are two different options for your type. Okay, I see that. There's linear right. and there's radial. If you select radial, Brent, mm -hmm. it creates this circular it's shape. Circular shape. Now, I don't like how dramatic this is. It's being very dramatic. It's too dramatic. I want it to be a little bit more of a fade. I, I don't want you know, as much I'm deep colors I'm in I'm sick edge. of the drama, Bobby. Me too. I'm, I'm sick, sick of this. You know, what I, you know what I don't like, Bobby? Drama. Drama. I knew it. I hate drama. And you know what, Brent? I don't need it in my life. I agree. Let's get rid of this drama. Drama gone. Here we go. You're going to select the G key on the keyboard again, and it's going to bring up a sort of new looking tool here. It's a little bit different. You've got these circles here, and you get the ability to rotate the circle. And this is going to control basically how the radial is being affected. Mm. This little black one up here allows you to shrink and change the uh, shape, sort of making it an oval, if you please. Okay. And this slider here will allow you to pull out the colors okay. so that you get more of a... That's way subtle, less dramatic. Less dramatic. It's much better for what we're looking to do. Yeah, that's an easy going transition. Yeah, so... There's no drama there. I think it's pretty simple, uh, straightforward. What's cool about the gradient tool on uh, Illustrator, we don't want to have to redo the whole color swatch thing every time. Sure. So what we can do is you can actually go into the presets and save your own preset. Oh, that's actually really, really cool. Yeah, so you got new gradient swatch one. And um, so if we ever need to recreate this, easy as you pie. can do it easy as pie. Nice. So now say you want the middle of the gradient to be transparent. Sure. All you have to do is go down into our swatch sliders here, select on the slider that you want to be opaque, and go down to your opacity, and just drag it down to zero. Okay. And as you can see, that's now see-through. Simple enough. Wow. Pretty simple. But now here's the tricky part. Uh -oh. Let's get into text. So by creating text, we're going to select the T and create some text. We'll say Brent. That will be the text for Tis this. Tis I, Brent. Tis Brent. We are going to select a maybe a little bit more bold of a font we'll select impact i like that's a good font i dig that font i like it now let's fill the color let's make it yellow yellow let's make it red let's make it or pink let's make it red let's make it orange but now say we want to make it a gradient color okay let's go into our little gradients here and let's select the one we just saved yeah. this preset simple enough right yep whoa what happened what's going on um, that's definitely not the gradient we made, Bobby. That is a black color. That is a black fill. That the, the void is staring at us right now. And we, uh, we don't want this. So this is a problem that Illustrator has. Basically, they don't allow you to do a gradient fill on text right away. Oh. So we're going to show you how to do this. Okay. We're going to go through some hoops here. Go through some hoops. It's not too hard, though. Shoot some hoops later. I'm going to be After the one. After we go through the hoops. I'm going to show you how to do this. It's going to be pretty fun. Before you know it, you'll be shooting some hoops because you've already de dealt with those, going through those hoops. Swish. If you look at the text here, we now have our gradient selected, mm -hmm. but nothing's happening. So. So frustrating. We're going to go up to our object tab up here. Okay. And before you do this, Brent, you want to make sure that the text is finalized. You want to make sure that you've typed in what you want to type in. Okay. Because what we're going to do here is we're going to expand the text. Okay. And that's going to convert it from text to curves. So oh. it's going to change it so that now you can't edit the text anymore. Okay. So it stops being text and it becomes curves. Yes. Basically, we're turning it into a shape. 
Interesting. So right. if we go to our object and scroll down to expand and select that, it's going to bring up this little panel with a few different options. You can expand it and select object, fill, or stroke. We're going to select object and fill for this case. Okay. We're going to hit OK. And as you can see, what it has now done is it has created these little nodes here. So if we select our A key, you can see that we can actually edit oh, these nodes yeah. and change the shape of the text. And we can actually also double click, go into our text, Move them around. And oh, move okay. them around. That's kind of cool. So now basically it's a bunch of different shapes grouped together. Some shapes? Let's see if this works now. We'll go into our gradient. We will select our new gradient swatch. Ah. And there you go. I see now. And if we select our G key, we can then adjust, adjust as we normally would. As we normally would. Okay, cool. That actually was not as bad as I thought it was going to be. It's not as bad as you think. Mm -hmm. It, you know, takes a little bit extra work. And now obviously it's tough because you can't edit that text, so you'd okay. have to remake the text. Hence why you said we need to make sure you know that it's the final version of that text before you do it. Exactly. Makes sense, okay. That's it, guys. Okay, cool. That's, that's how you do a gradient effect. Thank you for watching this episode of Learning. Yeah, that was really helpful. I think you're gonna be able to make some cooler looking graphics now, because gradiency is really good for giving things dimension. Yes, A lot definitely. of times, graphics, when they're just solid colors, are very flat, very yeah. kind of Boring. Which can be cool in its own right. Well, but in some circumstances, yeah. But sometimes you want to give things a little bit of dimension, a little something extra yeah. to kind of really make them pop out at you. And I think the gradient seed tool is great for that. It's great for it. And, and then you can move these graphics into your videos and you know you can put them in After Effects and animate them. Or you know, once you've animated them, you can drop it into your Premiere project, which is the rest of your video. Oh my god, there's yeah. too much, there's so much to do. I don't do. know if you guys remember our um, Zach and Jesse Ruins Everything video, mm, but we actually video. used Illustrator to create most of the graphics that were in that. So we created the That's graphics true. in Illustrator, then brought them into uh, After Effects to animate them and made them and then brought yeah and then brought those into Premiere to edit them so so it's a like nice little train system you yeah got going on exactly there. it's a little assembly line so that's why Illustrator is a really great tool because you can make some really cool looking animations and stuff by creating your own graphics yeah you know? thanks for checking out this app like sub comment smash smash that like button. Uh, leave comments below if you want to see any other stuff. We've been getting some people who have been asking about how like we made like the Tesla Time News intro and stuff oh, like that. Oh, we should so, do that one. So yeah. maybe we'll kind of one day we'll kind of just make an episode where we just break down each step. It actually mm -hmm. is a lot easier than you might think. Yeah, true. So, and some uh, people have been asking about the in-depth intro as well. So maybe we could recreate yeah. that. Yeah, definitely. And that utilizes a lot of this stuff. So that was a success, successful learning. Here we go. <laughs> To Florida. Goodbye. <laughs> Learning with Bobby and Brent. <laughs> that was a waste of paper towels. It's they're still. It's good. fine. They're still good. They're still good. Woo! And now we just have the square. I get a call real quick. <coughs> Brent, you ruined my day. Sorry. I quit. I'm I'm done with this. I yes. quit. You're just looking for an excuse to get out of here. I am actually looking for an excuse to get out of here. <laughs> To Florida I go, anyway. So, 